Hello YouTube land, this is Stevie the Scotsman. I just want to give you some information here on replacing a, a antenna mast on an XJ6. There's information out there by a guy called Robert DIY who actually done an antenna mast install. And take a look at that video, it's really, really, it's actually pretty helpful. But I just want to show you one or two things to be aware of, um, especially if you're doing this on an XJ6. This is a, a Jag XJ6, but I'm sure there's things used on a lot of um, other cars. But let me just show you the first, um, just, let me show you what you might just want to take into consideration. Alright, so first of all, there's a plug that you need to unplug. Now, when you actually go and take this unit off, there's actually a clip here that's springy. Now, this is on the blind side. So, when you're in the car, you obviously disconnect it from the bottom here. And it's pretty much self explanatory. We're talking seven year old stuff here. But the one thing that might um, prove to be a pain in the butt is like, okay, this connector's not coming out, and you're throwing sticking screwdrivers. Don't worry about that, guys. All you need to do is just go on there on the right hand side, reach around, and pull it. Okay, so you've got the beast out. Now, when you've got this puppy out here, the next thing obviously when you replace the antenna mast is there may be a case where the antenna mast is actually um, is broken. So just make sure that um, <clears throat> you've got the old one out and any pieces of um, Fisher Price antenna band. So you can see that this is the old one here that I've taken out, and there's no actual. There's actually like a like a clip here that sits on the inside. Now, I'm pretty certain that what's going to happen in a lot of times is this thing is going to get corroded in here, but you really need to get this thing out of here, you know? So, you'll notice with the new one that it comes, I'm not going to take it out of the bag. You can see this is the antenna mast here, and it's actually got this click here, this, this clip here, which um, actually is what's actually picking up the reception um, and, and, and takes it down into the system. So. I'm not going to do a complete rebuild on this thing, but I'm just going to give you an overview here. As I said, I worked on aircraft, so I have an understanding. Um, if there's anything that is incorrect, then hey, please point it out in the comments. So obviously you have the motor here. It's like a worm gear. It actually has a metal shaft, which is good. Obviously dry, this, 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 this white gear, there's a white gear below it, drives this cam. Pretty much self-explanatory. There's a little circuit board in there. And there's actually a piece of light, there's a piece of metal here. Now this actually actually probably acts as a, acts as, acts as a ground as well on the antenna, that's my thinking what this thing does. So really the one thing that you need to be aware of guys is that this actual aluminum tube that actually sits in will detach. You know if you've got a case where it's actually jammed in there you may be thinking oh my gosh this thing is jammed in a world of heart I'm looking at 150 bucks for a new one or whatever. Don't swear it. Get some WD in there, get some lube juice you know and just slowly twist this thing out and then as I said you see to get it back in you may just have to use a bit of lube juice a bit of sandpaper but this will go back in here and the other thing to notice is as well that you will see on here it's really really tough to tell guys but there's a little like notch that runs from here all the way along and it kind of sits in a little groove which jives with this little um, piece of metal here that runs down so as I said, this is pretty basic stuff, you know, when you take it out, um, it, this is the, the, the base gear here, which is obviously driven by the worm gear, you know, you have this container here with the actual um, little plastic Fisher Price teeth sitting, and then you have the actual container, and then really this just goes on top. And if, as I said, when you watch that DIY video, once you um, <coughs> to, to before you start getting this out of the car, I would suggest you just put the, turn the radio on and get it extended, and then <coughs> pull that pull that connection. And then when you're putting it back in, then um, just 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 feed this beast in. Obviously, making sure that this thing is out of here, and this is all this is all clean. In my case, there was a piece of plastic tubing in here that was that, um, obviously helps for this thing to be driven down there. So. Um, as I said, this, I know this is not a complete teardown and rebuild, but I just wish someone had pointed this out to me, because I was there thinking, alright, is this thing even supposed to come out of here? Is it one whole unit? This is not the case. This thing will come out of here. You just, you know, be careful and twist it. I mean, obviously this is Mexican engineering at its best, you know what I'm saying? But, um, hey, no apprentices use Mexicans out here, but it's all this stuff we're getting now on these cars. is all Fisher Price, and, um, you know... You don't really be wanting this thing. This band was like 12 bucks. You know what I'm saying. So hopefully, by just providing you some information here, you're not thinking, oh "My God, I got to buy a whole unit." And then for you, Jag guys out there, this is actually the part number. So hey, 
I hope this has helped someone out there anyway. So hey, as I said, there'll probably be more videos coming on this XJ6 as I just barrel some of these minor problems. Love the car, but obviously with any 20 year old car, there's going to be things that you need to work through. So hey, take care of yourself guys. This is Stevie Scotsman. All the best. Cheers.